Good day, guys. Welcome back to our mathematics class. Today is going to be the continuation on our change of subjects of the formula. If you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent lessons. Now, example one. Want to make x the subject of the formula. This is a given formula. We have b is equal to 1 over 2 square root of a square minus x squared. When you look at this, from our previous lessons that we've had so far, 1 over 2 and square root of a square minus x squared are actually joined together by multiplication. With me, I can say b is equal to square root of a square minus a square divided by 2. That is, one we multiply everything here. So this is divided by 2 as a denominator. Let me also give to be over 1 here. Where is the next step? Let us cross multiply. Let's cross multiply. This we multiply 1. I'm going to have square root of a square minus s squared is equal to 2 times b, we have 2b. I'm taking this one to the left answer because it contains the unknown which I'm looking for. Now, my unknown, which is x, is inside the square root. It's in a bondage. I have to release my x from the bondage. Now, this is square roots. To remove square roots, you have to square both sides. Don't forget, opposite of division is multiplication. Opposite of addition is subtraction. Now, when it comes to square roots, the opposite is going to be square. So let us square both sides. When you square both sides, square cancel square roots. I have a square minus a square is equal to. Now, this square is for both inside. 2 times 2, I have 4. Then, b is power 2. Now, since I need my x, I have to take away a square to miss b for b square. So I have minus a square is equals to 4b square. So when this plus a square crosses equals to, it changes to minus a square. Now, the first thing, the next thing is to remove this negative. I can multiply both sides by negative 1, multiplying both sides by minus 1. I have minus s squared times minus 1 is equals to minus 1 multiplied by 4b squared minus a squared. So minus times minus give us plus. 1 times s squared, I have s squared equals to minus 1 times 4b squared minus 4b squared minus times minus plus 1 times a squared, a squared. Now, I don't want this negative to show here. I can have s squared. Equals to, let me rearrange this, a square minus 4b square. Now, I need my x, and my x as square. I have to remove that square by square roots both sides. Square roots of a square equals to square roots of a square minus 4b square. So square cancel square roots. x is equal to square root of a square minus 4b square. And if this one is key, which is power 3, we're going to find the key root of both sides. This is the key root you're going to put here. Key root of both sides. So this, we're going to cancel this. So here, our s equals to square root of a square minus 4b square. Example 2. Make u the subject of the formula. So we have our formula here. We have a equals to 1 over 2m. Put your bracket v square minus u square. Now, don't forget what we are explained in the first example. A equals to m times 1. We have m over 2 bracket v square minus u square. Also, a equals to, so this multiply this, m times v square, m v square minus m times u square, m u square divided by 2. So this one has a denominator of 2. Put the denominator of 1 here. Don't forget, want to make u the subject of the formula. The next one is to cross multiply. So I'm going to have all these one we multiply 1. I have mv squared 
minus m u square is equal to 2 times a, 2a. From here, this is what I need, my u. I have to take mv squared to the other side. So this one crosses this way. I'm going to have minus m u squared is equal to 2a. So when this positive is crossing, it changes to minus mv squared. Now, I need my u, not minus m. So I have to find a way of taking away minus m. And m and u are joined together by multiplication. The opposite is division. I have to divide both sides by minus m. Minus m u squared divided by minus m is equal to 2a minus mv squared divided by minus m. Minus cancel minus m cancel m. My u squared equals to 2a minus mv squared over minus m. But look at this. It's not possible for you to cancel m because of this sign as you join them together, minus. If it is multiplication that is here, m can cancel m. If it is negative or addition, nothing like that can happen. You can't cancel it. Secondly, this minus that is here can also be up here. So I can remove this minus here and say u squared equals to minus, open bracket, 2a minus mv squared divided by m. So now open this bracket by saying u squared is equals to minus times 2a, minus 2a, minus times minus, plus mv squared over m. From here, I have to find the square root of both sides. Square root of u squared equals to square root of minus 2a plus mv squared divided by m. So square cancel square roots. u equals to, let me arrange this one, mv squared minus 2a divided by m then in square roots. So this is example three. The period of a compound pendulum is given by t equals to 2a square root of a square plus k square divided by gh. Express k in terms of t, h, and g, taking pi square as 10. To express k in terms of meaning to make k the subject of the formula, to make k an independent element. Now, let's look at this. We have t is equal to 2a square root of h square plus k square divided by gh. Now the first thing, look at this very well. I, can't, I cannot open this bracket. I cannot say 2a multiplied by all this one because of this square root that is here. Because of the square root that is there. But I can do something this way. This value is just like saying two, 5 equals to 2x. And I need my x. I have to divide both sides by what? 2. So definitely here, I can take away 2a by dividing both sides by 2a. t divided by 2a is equal to 2a square root of h square plus k square over gh divided by 2a. 2a cancel 2a. I have t divided by 2a is equal to square root of h square plus k square divided by gh. When you look at this, my unknown, which is my k, is in a bondage of square roots. I have to remove the square root first. By what? By squaring both sides. Squaring both sides, I have t divided by 2a square is equal to square root of h square plus k square divided by gh square. Now, square cancel square roots. Here I'm going to have t times t, t square divided by 2 times 2, I have 4, then a times a, a square is equal to, this has been opened, a square plus k square divided by gh. After this one, the next step is to cross multiply. Cross multiply. Now, this will multiply for a square because I'm looking for k. Let's go to the left hand side by saying 4a squared multiplied by h squared plus k squared, then equals to t squared gh. Fine. The next thing is 
My case square is also in the bondage of brackets. I have to open the brackets. 4a squared times a squared, 4a squared, h squared, plus times this, 4a squared, k squared, is equal to t squared, gh. Good. It's interesting now. You can see that here, I need my k squared. Let me take away all these values because they did not possess k. Now, I take this value to this other side. Then by having 4a squared k squared is equal to t squared gh. So when this one is crossing, it's to negative. Minus 4a squared h squared. So it's to negative. Now, I need my k squared. The first thing is to take away 4a squared. By dividing both sides by 4a squared, I have 4a squared k squared divided by 4a squared is equals to t squared gh minus 4a squared h squared divided by 4a squared. This value comes with this value. My k squared equals to t squared gh minus 4 a squared, h squared, divided by 4 a squared. Don't forget what I said in the previous example. You cannot cancel 4 a squared and 4 a squared because of this sign, minus or positive. It can be cancelled. If it is multiplication, it can be cancelled. Finally, I want to get my k by finding the square root of both sides. Square root of k squared equals to square root of t squared gh minus 4 a square, a square, divided by 4 a square. Square cancel square root. K equals to square root of t square, gh, minus 4 a square, h square, divided by 4 a square. So, this is, you can see the stepwise way of getting the subject of the formula. If you can, if you can understand this properly, there is no equation that you cannot go into in sciences and also in mathematics. If you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent lesson. And do not forget to share to other students for them to benefit. Thank you.